feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. Hey everybody, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your co-host, Ted Jenkin, here with my co-host, Lee Heisman. Of course, our guest, Will Nobles, today. He is the CEO of Vector Choice Technology Solutions. They're a huge managed service provider, uh, do tons of stuff across seven states. You have to listen to the whole podcast at shrimptankpodcast.com. And while you're on this YouTube channel, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. That way you'll get all of the good information. Make sure you hit that notifications bell. It'll tell you every time we put up a new episode and you will start to get your MBA in entrepreneurship. Will, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Oh, thank you for having me. Tell our listeners about not just what uh, Vector Choice does, but also your brand, willnobles.com. Sure. So I always tell people we help attorneys um, be more billable or we help doctors see more patients. And you know, everybody asks, like, how do you do that? Well, I do that by helping them with IT, cybersecurity, managed services, where you can come to us and outsource your cybersecurity and IT solutions um, there. And then when, when it comes to willnobles.com and that my personal branding, it's amazing how that personal brand and has taken me to the next level. So you can always uh, find us at willnobles.com. You know, Will, we talked about that very thing on the show about this idea of having a personal brand. If there's a an entrepreneur that has five employees or they're the CEO of a company, how important it is for them to be able to differentiate their brand from the brand of the company and actually invest time and or money in developing their brand? Yeah, when you're a small company, you are the brand. As the owner, you are you are the brand of, uh, of the company. And so you have to develop your personal brand to elevate your company's brand. And then that sort of meshes together. And then at that point, your company brand will take off. Mm. So, Will, and what our listeners, I think you mentioned early, Ted, your business is across seven sp- states. Yes. You're not only growing yep. organically, you're also growing by acquisition, and your business is just growing nationally. To keep that company cohesive, talk a little about culture and, and where your focus is within the new organization. You know, that's the challenges, and, and we're all facing this today when everybody's trying to work from home or working from home, especially for the past two years, how to keep that culture uh, together. Um, matter of fact, we have been, when everybody started working from home in 2020, we were actually doing it for the past seven years. Um, and so we didn't, mm. we didn't skip a beat. So we've built our company culture on that platform. And so when we're extending to other states, it's not that hard, but you have to make sure to maintain that uh, cohesive meetings with your client uh, and your employees and making sure that we use Zoom. We don't pick up the phone to call anymore. It's all video, either Teams or Zoom right. chat, back and forth. Uh, matter of fact, every single um, uh, 11 o'clock every single day, we're actually having a whole company meeting, and it's what's hot, what's going on in each department. It's a quick 15-minute meeting, but it's amazing what uh, you can get out of that 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, you told me about that. I was going to bring that up if you didn't say it. Yeah. Mm. Every single day, five days a week, yep. every, it's 52 weeks a year, you are making sure all of your managers and all of your team are getting together for a 15-minute. And then if you don't mind sharing with them, after that 15 15 minute overview, don't you do something where they break off within their departments? Yeah, because you don't want to waste everybody's time. So someone that's in marketing, you don't want to talk about the accounting side or the accounting, mm-hmm. you don't want to have to hear the tech talk and you know, what's wrong with a ticket or a particular ticket. And so what we do after that, we do about 12 minutes and then we'll do a uh, breakout rooms where each of the departments will go to a breakout room and actually meet on more uh, a micro level uh, conversation of about their department. Uh, again, it's just keeping that communication open, and you know, and something that we do fun is you know every Friday from four to five is have that have that uh, happy hour where yeah. we're all Ooh, having drinks. Virtual and stuff. happy hour. <laughs> well, it. the best part about virtual happy hour is no one's drinking and driving because they're all doing it from <laughs> that, home. that's true. They're all doing it from home. Absolutely. Well, listen, guys, you should listen to the show in its entirety. There's no question. Will not only owns his technology firm, but also he speaks all over the country about many, many topics. Could you tell people how to get in touch with you for all of the services? Yeah, so if you want to reach us uh, reach us at the um, IT company, you can go to VectorChoice.com. Or if you want to me for speaking or uh, TV engagements, or it may be a movie that, that I'm in, um, uh, WillNobles.com. <laughs> and uh, you can also uh, give me a call at 770-313-3319. And folks, uh, Will talked about it on the show today. He has 15 different cybersecurity tips, things that may be able to help your company be smarter. This is why you want to reach out to him. And while you're on the YouTube channel and you've listened to this post-show wrap-up with Will, what I recommend is check out our guy, Jeff Perkins, the CEO of Park Mobile. Do you want to know how to go from zero to 30 million users and gain a million new users a month? If that's the kind of business you're in and you want to learn more, check out Jeff's video and much, much more. And that's your post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. 
I've been feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp.